Hey guys, so this week or in the probably last few weeks, the FTX saga continues. So if you haven't um, heard, you know, there was a company, FTX, still a company, but it's now filed for Chapter 11, that was at one time thought to be worth about $40 billion. Now, this company was, in simple terms, was a crypto exchange company. So basically, you just basically put money in there and, you know, they'll hold it uh, in custody and you could use it to trade on their platform. And so they were having like a lot, a large trade volume. I've heard up to like $1.5 billion a day in trading. And they made a percentage off of it, you know, maybe maybe a 0.5% or something like that on it or so. And, you know, it, it seemed to be a lucrative business. Here's the issue that happened. This business was founded by someone who was unproven, Sam Bankman-Fried. So Sam Bankman-Fried, you know, from all the interviews and what i've read you know he started in mit he graduated mit he got a, f- a degree in physics went on jane street capital where he you know he was a trader and it seems like he was supporting a high frequency trade type of um, you know outfit and what was happening was you know he got bored with what he was doing and he went on to you know do different do something on his own and that's where it gets cloudy because you know that's where there's stories of him you know finding out about an arbitrage you know between the different prices between bitcoin in japan and the us and there's some 10 percent difference and then you know he made money now here's where you start to know that something is wrong you know first you heard he made a billion dollars then you hear he made 20 million dollars and then when i heard the interview he said the the window is open for about 20 days so people speculate it was 20 million dollars now the problem with this is that people know some people fake it till they make it and who knows if he made 20 million dollars like who knows i don't know and i don't have anything to verify that but you know what that gave him was the the mystique of being a whiz kid and people trust whiz kids because you know who what if this guy's the next Mark Zuckerberg, the nef- the next Jeff Bezos, the nef- the next um, you know Elon Musk? Because everyone wants to be early in that. You know, they're all seeking alpha, alpha. You know, greater returns than the market. And if you get in early, oh my God, you'll make money. So they're saying, hey, this guy should be you know the, the next you know big thing. And he played into that. You know, he played this guru role. You know, you know t-shirts and you know wearing sneakers and. Um, playing video games at work and then you know they sleeping on a beanbag in the office so people are saying hey you know this guy is a genius Uh, let's invest with him i don't know what he's talking about i don't understand what he's investing in but he must be great but the problem with ftx was was there they're in a commoditized type of you know activity you know crypto trading i mean binance does it coinbase does it so there's a whole bunch of different companies that you can go and trade cryptos on so what was the differentiator and the truth is there's not much of that you know he offered derivatives you could do 3x inverse or or 3x4 you know bitcoin or other stuff but all that stuff is risky and you never know you know uh, you know handling such you know highly leveraged items and and, you know people you know holding mark having margin and all that stuff it's very risky for any company if it's not fully funded for that and you know then you have this whole thing of almeda research which is a trading arm and what happens is and you know all this complexity but if you boil it down to its simple you know system you know they got money in and now they're you know money and crypto in and there's less money and crypto left and the thing is is that if if people gave them let's say half a million you know bitcoin or whatever it is they should get back half a million bitcoin they could have lost value because bitcoin has lost a ton load of value plan to do a show on that but they're not getting the same number of you know cryptocurrencies that they put in so what happened was the company filed chapter 11 because customer funds somehow disappeared and this is now you know spiraling out and you can see that people are losing faith in these crypto exchanges and some people are losing faith in this whole crypto world and you know i'll 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 bear my cards i am not a supporter of crypto i'm a crypto skeptic and i'll be very honest with you I, i i i i don't believe in cryptocurrencies because I cannot, I can, the only basis of value I know of crypto is what the next guy is willing to pay for it. You can't get dividends from it and all that stuff, but that's another story. So FTX now 
lot of people have lost money in there and you know they're wondering what's the next step and you know this is going to be a saga this is going to continue for weeks or months and this you know this could easily end up with someone going to prison for this and uh, it's something that we're all going to follow and you know this en enigmatic character sam bankman free you know he's t he has he's tweeting <laughs> you like he stopped though but he was tweeting you know erratically you know some weird stuff but the key thing is you know he was what was conferred on him was whiz kid status and that is what i think where people had confidence in him and you know the whole point of him you know having tom brady out there you know larry david and us as pitch men that was and if you listen to his his interviews that was to build the brand of ftx and that was the key you know that's and you know if we look at what ha the downfall of ftx was they're offering inch high interest rate on people depositing money with them <laughs> and so you know the company was in a situation where it wanted greater trade volume greater balances and it saw that you know and i'm assuming and i'm alleging that it saw the way to do this was increase its visibility its brand visibility and by increasing its brand visibility more people would want to invest with them and they will have a liar a, a, a lower cost of obtaining deposits and that was what was happening and so you know they were trying to see hey can we keep faking it until we make it and somewhere along the line you know their trades weren't working and we're going to get into deeper what happened because at some point customer funds went missing and that's the big thing that's the big part of it and so this is a saga to look at but one thing i want to take away from this is we have to be careful of just you know easily saying this guy's a whiskey because he understands something that we don't i think the key thing is if you don't understand an investment why would you invest in it i'm not an investment advisor none of this should be taken as investment advice this is just entertainment purposes but personally i will not invest in something i don't fully understand thanks guys